हेलो एवरी वन आई एम अमित भुप्तानी असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन मेकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट एट डॉक्टर सुभाष टेक्निकल कैंपस जूनागढ़ आई वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन टूडेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन रिलेटेड विद द सब्जेक्ट इंडस्ट्रियल इंजीनियरिंग इन टूडेज प्रेजेंटेशन वी विल स्टडी अबाउट द टॉपिक प्लांट लोकेशन so we, before we begin our presentation on our today's topic let us have an overview of today's presentation the first topic that we will discuss is what is plant location the second topic will be need for plant location the third topic that we will discuss that is selection criteria for the plant location and the fourth topic will be rate of return so let us start our presentation with our discussion on what is plant location as we all know uh, plant location so to establish any plant or any factory one requires a place or a site for establishing their factory so it refers to the choice of region and selection of particular site for setting up a business or factory or it can be defined as a place where man machines material equipments which are brought together for production of goods so plant location is simply a place where one can manufacture their products with the help of resources like man machine material and equipments so this is all about plant location second topic need for plant location why what is the need for plant location so the first point is when a new plant is to be established so in order to establish a plant one must select a place or site for the establishment of their plant the second point is the existing factory is not in a position to obtain the renewal of lease so after the completion of the contract for example they have done the uh, understanding on the lease for 5 years so after the completion of 5 years of lease uh, that particular site owner is not ready to renew that contract so at that time there may be a need for change in position of the existing factory the third point the old plant undergoes expansion decentralization and diversification to meet increased demands for its products so according to the third point if one wants to expand their existing product and the space available is not enough at that time also plant there must be at that time also there will be a requirement of plant location then decentralization and diversification to meet increased demand for its products diversification means they are producing for example three products now if they want to increase the range of their variety or the range of products they are manufacturing if they are producing three products now they are supposed to produce five products so for producing those additional two products they will require some new site or new place because that existing is not able to produce in that existing plant so in order to increase the range also of the products one must go for plant location or if the demand of the product is increasing so in order to meet their demands of their customers at that time also there will be need for plant location then the fourth point the tendency of shifting the market depletion of raw materials changes in transport facilities new processes requires a different locations are observed in the factory so 
the market scenario is changing as we know that market is always changing so one must in order to remain competitive with the market they must be able to maintain all the standards all the trends that are going on the market but if the market is shifting from one place to another then based on the demand they will also have to change their position depletion of raw materials means raw materials are not available where your plant is located initially it was available but now it is difficult at that time also plant location need for plant location arises then changes in transport facilities and last that we had already discussed for the branches for the opening of new branches okay for example uh, lloyd company manufactures an air conditioning now if they want to produce some another product like air coolers or something else at that time they will have to change over their location next point of discussion is selection criteria for plant location what are the criteria that one must keep in mind while selecting a location for plant so the first point that one must keep in mind is availability and nearness to the sources of raw materials availability of raw materials so this is the first point which one must keep in mind that for producing any product they will require raw materials so that raw materials availability that should be nearer that should be enough availability so that raw material transportation cost can be reduced and it can be available in enough quantity second one is climatic conditions climatic conditions depends on some products some particular products are only manufactured in that particular climatic conditions so that also has to be considered while selecting a plant location third point is transportation cost they must also consider the transportation cost that consists of raw material cost as well as finished products when the products are finished then the transportation cost for uh, delivering the products to the customers that cost should be minimum and that should be then next is nearness to the market nearness to the market means there must be uh, nearer to the market because to know the uh, criteria to know the current situation in the market to know the trends in the market there must be nearer to the market otherwise what happens if they are away from the market they don't know what is the trend in the market they can they can easily lose their customers if they are away from others they can also lose their customers so this is also a point which they must keep in mind next availability of manpower means availability of skilled and non skilled laborers that is also to be kept in mind because ultimately you will require laborers for production of goods and services if they are not available in enough numbers then your your goals your target will not be achieved so those laborers also should be available at cheaper rate next criteria is availability of fuel and power availability of fuel and power that again depends power means electricity the electric should electricity should be continuously available at cheaper rate at minimum rate and fuel that again depends on the type of 
industry for example if you consider steel steel industries so they will be mostly established around the place where coal which is the fuel that is used that is in adequate amount adequate amount available so this is also a point which one must keep in mind next availability of water that again depends on the type of industries if you consider chemical industries then in chemical industries there will be a huge amount of water that will be required for their processes so that uh, that 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 is also a point which one must keep in mind water is also also used in for drinking for sanitary purposes so all those facilities should be available where the site is selected one more criteria is existence of hospitals schools banks should be located nearby so this all facilities like hospital facilities if there is any accident that occurred then at that time if one requires hospital facilities then that should be also available schooling facilities for their children's banking facilities for doing transactions atms etc all those things should be considered while selecting a site next criteria is community attitude this is the most important criteria because in the place where they are establishing their plant the community plays a very big very big very big role the local public if they are willing to get the job or to get the work then they will definitely support so this again plays a very important role of the local public in we at where you are establishing your plant then next is presence of related industries so as we know that everything cannot be produced in house sometimes some things are also been bought from the outside or from some other industries so that should be nearby to them so that whenever there is a problem in any parts or any machineries you can easily get those uh, damaged parts from them next housing facilities there must be housing facilities for their workers so that they can give accommodation to them and last safety and security should be given prime importance then special grants regional tax and import export barriers and there are certain places where government encourages the industrialists to establish their plant where they can get certain benefits of taxes for example special economic zones where if they establish their uh, factory in that particular region decided by government they will get certain amount of exemptions in taxes but again there must be some criteria which must be fulfilled by that particular industry then facilities of expansion if in future you want to expand your plant for increasing production or producing some variety of products so that point also must be considered okay so now the last point of discussion is rate of return so what is rate of return we will understand that by taking one example so let us uh, go through the example <coughs> from the following data select the most advantageous location for setting a plant for making transistor radios so uh, from this example we will understand what is rate of return you have to select a site for making transistor radios so in this example we are given three sites x y and z and all the particulars are given in the table so uh, first of all let us go through the data in serial number 1 the particulars first is total initial investment so what is the investment that all the sites initially they are doing so for site x it is 2 lakhs site y it is 2 lakhs and for site z it is 2 lakhs now for the second serial number it is given total expected sales for the period 
so it is two lakh fifty thousand three lakh and two lakh fifty fifty thousand for site Z. Third one is distribution expenses for site X it is forty thousand for site Y it is forty thousand and for site Z it is seventy five thousand. For the fourth serial number that is raw material expenses that is seventy thousand for site X eighty thousand for site Y and ninety thousand for site Z. Fifth item is power and water supply expenses so that is forty thousand for site X thirty thousand for site Y and twenty thousand for site Z. Six is wages and salaries. So in wages and salaries for site X it is twenty thousand for site Y it is twenty five thousand and for site Z it is twenty thousand. Seventh is other expenses. Other expenses means it can be in the form of insurance. It can be in the form of stationary charges, quotation charges, telephone bills, etc. So other expenses for site X it is twenty five thousand for site Y it is forty thousand site Z it is thirty thousand. And at last, community attitudes. For site X, the attitude of community is indifferent. Means, people are having different opinions. Whether they want this plant to be established in their region or not. For site Y, they are wanting the business in that particular area or particular zone. And for site Z, again, it is indifferent. So, is all the things are given. Rate of return means. Which, considering all this data, considering all this cost, considering all this investments, which site gives you maximum rate of return? So based on that, we will select okay, which site gives you maximum rate of return. That site will be selected for setting a plant for making transistor radios. So we will calculate rate of return for each site X, Y, and Z. So solution is again given over here. First of all, we will calculate total expenses of site X, Y, and Z. So for calculating total expenses, we will do the addition of the serial number third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh. Total expenses means for producing the finished product what are the expenses they had spent distribution expenses means from sending the finished product from your plant to some other plant that is for all the sites it is given different different for x it is this much for y it is this much for z it is this much then raw material expenses is 70000 80000 and 90000 power and water supply that again so that adding of 3, 4, 5th, 6th and 7th item gives you total expenses. So for site X we have calculated that is 1,95,000 for site Y it is 2,15,000 and for site Z it is 2,35,000. Now rate of return is calculated using the formula it is obtained in the form of percentage. So it is total sales minus total expenses divided by total investment into 100 so that will give you the rate of return for each site so based on the above calculation we will calculate the rate of return for site X so total sales for site X as it is given in the table total sales it is 2 lakh 50 thousand And total initial investment of site X is 1 lakh. Total sales for site X is 2 lakh 50 thousand. And total expenses based on the addition of the item 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, and 7th, it is 1 lakh 95 thousand. We have calculated over here, it is 1 lakh 95 thousand divided by total initial investment. So total initial investment of all the three sites were 2 lakhs. So 
from the calculation we are getting rate of return for site x that is 27.5 percent similarly the rate of return for site y based on the calculation that we are getting 42.5 percent and rate of return for site z we are getting that is 7.5 percent so from this calculation we can conclude that site y will be the most advantageous because it gives you the highest amount of rate of return considering all the expenses considering total sales it gives you maximum rate of return so that is 42.5 percent and also the community over there wants the business so for producing or for making radio transistors transistor radios we will select y site with 42.5 percentage rate of return okay i hope you understood it what is rate of return and how the site is selected thank you